and welcome back to Dishwater Dreams. I'm Lindsay and I have a little drugstore haul for you today. Um, I just kind of picked up some random stuff that really just struck my fancy at the time. I was looking for some new lip colors and some new um, highlighter. So I just kind of picked up some random stuff so there's not really a theme um, to this haul at all. Um, so I'll just, I'll just dig right in and let you know what I got. Um, the first thing I got is uh, Wet n Wild Fergie. It's the Center Stage Collection to Reflect Shimmer Palette. So that looks like a really nice highlighter. And it's got this really nice sheer color to it. So I'm really looking forward to trying that because I only have one highlighter right now and I like to have a little bit more option. And the Wet n Wild, of course, is priced really great. So I decided to try that. And then um, I ended up actually getting a bunch of different mascaras um, simply because I couldn't make a decision. And none of them were really very expensive. So it looks like I got three different mascaras. So I got two um, of the NYC mascaras. I got the Ultra Volumizing Mascara in Extreme Black. So that says it's supposed to be 15 times more volume. And then I got also from NYC the Big Bold Volume by The Lash, which is supposed to give you 200% um, more multiply, multiplying of your lash. So I don't know, you do the math, which is better, 15 times more volume or multiplied by 200%. I don't know. I'll give them a try and let you know what I find out. And then I also got this, I, I'm a really big fan of Maybelline makeup. For the most part, with the exception of um, one of their eyeliners, which is in my March um, Empties and Duds videos as a dud, with the exception of one of their eyeliners, I've really liked Maybelline products, and I decided to try this, um, the Volume Express Mascara, the Falsies Big Eyes, it's waterproof, and it has two different ends, so... I'm going to give that a try and see what that's like because um, I've got my high-end mascaras and then I like to wear my low-end mascaras for days that um, I know I'm just going to go to work or I'm just going to go to the gym or, you know, I'm just throwing something on and I'm not sure which one I'm going to like. So I got several of those. And then oh, I'm almost kind of embarrassed to admit that I got these because I don't particularly care for this person. Um, I don't particularly like her music. I think that she's rather whiny, but I'm interested in the product. So I got these um, solid perfume pencils with charm. I probably just throw the charm away. Um, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift and Enchanted Wonderstruck. So I didn't really get these because, like I said, because I like Taylor Swift, because I really could care less. Um, I'm not a fan of her music. I don't really know anything about her except for uh, she's blonde and she complains about her boyfriends a lot. But like I said, I was interested in the product. So you can't really um, smell these very well. There's like a scratch and sniff on the back of each of these, which was, which was really fun. We had fun with this. Me and my sons had fun with this in the store. And, but it's really kind of hard to smell what it actually smells like from the scratch and sniff. I don't know. It, I can't really smell them, but I was interested in trying that product, so I grabbed those. Um, see, also from NYC, I saw these, and um, anytime somebody makes something that's like specifically for your eye color, for eyeshadow, I always want to try it, because so far, the ones that I've tried have mostly been right. So I grabbed this um, NYC New York Color Individual Eyes for Green Eyes Smokin'. And it's, it just says um, smoky greens created for green eyes. And they had like four or five for brown eyes. And I saw a couple for blue eyes. And they had this one single one for green eyes. So I guess there's not a lot of people with green eyes. But it looks like it has a primer and an illuminator with it. As well as these colors. And um, it's got a little... Um, cover that tells you sort of where things go. And I'm throwing the little... Has anybody ever actually used these? 
I don't ever use these. I use my own brushes. If you if you use these, leave me a comment and let me know why you use it instead of a regular brush. I'm very curious to know. So um, this has, it tells you where to put everything, but it's got this highlighter color, which is very, very pretty. Um, it doesn't, it looks to be matte with maybe a hint of shimmer, um, kind of hard to tell. And then there's this really pretty purpley color. I've always been told every time I go somewhere and actually have someone help me with my makeup that purple is great for green eyes. And then there's this, um, I'm not really sure what to call it. It's like a burgundy color. And that looks to have a little bit more shimmer to it than all of the other colors. And then there's this really dark brownish gray color in that palette. Plus the primer and the highlighter down there in the bottom. So I'm really kind of excited to try that. I like it when they put stuff together for specific eye colors. I think the first one that I got was um, Alme, and I really liked it. I actually used up the whole thing and don't have it anymore. So I can't tell you for sure if it was Alme. Um, I got this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. I have been using the Dr. Brandt no more pores, but it's like $45. So there's no way that I'm actually going to buy that product. I don't know that I get $45 worth of use from it because my pores are actually fairly small to begin with. Um, I just like to kind of shrink them a little bit on my nose. I actually think that it keeps me from breaking out as much when I wear um, a pore eraser. So I wanted to try this little bit less expensive option to see if that worked. And of course, I had to get some nail polish because I was just in the mood to get some nail polish. So um, I I was just at the drugstore. They didn't have a whole lot of options. So I got OPI's um, Tutti Fruity Tonga, which is a very, very pretty sort of um, almost corally pink, but more pink than coral. And I got Lucky Lucky Lavender. This will look really great with this shirt that I just got on sale plus coupon at Loft. I love shopping at Loft. If you ever want to send me a gift and it's not makeup, send me a gift certificate or clothes from Loft. I wear an extra small. Um, I got some Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Balm. This stuff is awesome. And I got it in Pink Shock because they don't have this color yet. And I had a coupon. Coupons are always good. And then everything else that I got is lipsticks. And I couldn't decide, and they were having a really good sale, so I just grabbed, like, a bunch of stuff. So I'll try to get stuff grouped together here um, if I got similar things. So the first thing that I got, this is lipstick that I actually have already used, and I know that I like it. Um, it's the Maybelline um, Color Sensational, and it says new shade on there. It's the shade Magnificent Mauve. And I really like this because it's just kind of a neutral color, but it's also purple. So I love that. It'll go really, really good with my lavender um, new um, nail polish. Why, why is my brain dying on me? Um, it's kind of late at night. I think it's almost... Yeah, it's 10.30 at night, but you know, when you're a mom and you have two little kids, you gotta take your video time when you can, right? So, really looking forward to that purple. And then I got some um, NYC Plumping Lip Gloss. Um, I got some Plumping Lip Gloss from Too Faced that I absolutely adore. I think it actually works a little bit, and but it kind of makes your lips um, tingle burn a little bit so I don't know how this is going to be it doesn't have any kind of warnings on it like the Too Faced stuff does and I'm not sure if it would really look but this is the um big bold NYC and this is what color is this it doesn't say did it say on the packaging that I took off nope um I'm not really sure what color this is I don't see that it really says anywhere what color this is. 
Well, all right then. It's a no-name color. Does this other one say what color it is? Okay, this says the color on it. So it must have said on the trash that I took off, which now I can't find, of course. Brilliant. So I have no idea what color this is. I'll try to find out and leave a comment down there. Because it's somewhere in that pile of stuff that I've opened. But that has a really big fat brush there. And ooh, that's gonna be a pretty color. We'll see if it if it starts to feel like anything on the back of my hand. Um, and if it does, I will let you know. What on earth could I have done that? I don't know, and I dropped the other one on the floor. So I don't know what I did with it. I'll find the name of it. So this is the other one that I got, um, Coral to the Max which is also the big bold NYC and this looks to be sort of a brighter color. Oh yeah, that's that's really bright. So, that's a nice bright pink color. I kind of like the big fat applicator that it has there. It doesn't feel like anything on my hand so far. I'm not feeling any kind of like little burning sensation or anything like that like the Too Faced does. So, I don't know if that means it's going to plump my lips or not. Uh, maybe it's not gonna. Who knows? Um, so I've got some. Let me let me kind of lay out the rest of what I got here. And just kind of stack it all up. Um, and I'm throwing stuff on the floor again. Go ahead. I know there's a mirror behind me, so when I lean over, yeah. You can, you can see the tripod and everything. Oh well, that's just kind of the way it is. And it, um, let me wipe this off really fast. So um, the other lipsticks that I got, um, my sons were with me when I went shopping tonight. And um, generally when I am shopping in the makeup section, they're like hooligans running up and down the aisles. And um, tonight was no different. Um, but the difference is, is that tonight they came over because I was looking through all the lipsticks and they decided that they should pick some stuff out for me. So this is what they picked out. Um, NYC's Appalicious. And they picked out two specific colors. And they actually went through and they picked out the colors. So I thought that was kind of funny. The first one that they picked out um, was Pink Lady. And they didn't pick this stuff out by the number, they actually, or by the name, they actually picked everything out by the number. They had, they had looked at the little swatches on the front and they were digging for specific numbers, which I thought was really funny. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this open. I hate it when they do those little um, perforated plastic things because I apparently um, don't know how to use them. They never seem to work for me. Okay, don't ever do this. You should never use your teeth to open a product. And that is my little spiel from the dentist today. <laughs> but good grief, this is massively frustrating to get open. Okay. So this is Pink Lady, and this is why they liked it, because it's got this little apple on here. So I have no idea. This is kind of a, you almost can't see that. It's so sheer. So, but it did say that this was a, um, a lip balm and not a lipstick. So these will be nice to have. Um, glossy lip balm is what it is. So this is the other color in uh, Royal Gala. And let's see if this one, if this one's not gonna be any nicer to open, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all the way open because I'm already frustrated with packaging. Why does lipstick have to be so difficult to open? Then again, at the same time, I'm glad because there have been times where I've bought a lipstick at the drugstore and I got it home and realized that somebody else had already opened it and um, either swatched it or um, actually used it 
and it's a really really hard to get drugstores to take back a product like that and it's kind of gross because I don't want to use something that somebody else has been using so here's the other one again it has the cute little apple and this is still also it's very very sheer but those will be nice to have because some days you just want a tiny little bit of color and I will probably wear these at the gym all the time. In fact, I may just throw them straight into my gym bag. That would probably be a good idea. Just throw those straight into the gym bag. So that was um, my boys, what they picked out for this evening. And then um, I got some other um, NYC stuff. These are all the same lipsticks, Expert Last lip color and I'm actually going to try to open these as well okay that one worked out very nicely thank you um, this is the expert last lip color NYC and this is in the color forever fuchsia and it's a really pretty bright pink so that's gonna be really nice for spring nice bright pink um, Color. and then I got this color which is this is the one that actually attracted me over to the section in the first place and it says that this is a new color so I'm guessing it's new for spring again it's expert last um, NYC and this is the color blue rose and it's this kind of like magenta color almost kind of glowy so really really like that that's what pulled me over to to check out these lipsticks and then this last one I got because of this specific sale that they were having and this one is not going to be as nice to me getting it open there we go why didn't they put this packaging on the other one it just kind of pulled right down so again expert last NYC and this is in the color Candy Rush. And it's just kind of a really pale, pale pink. So almost just like you, you just have a little bit of shine to your lips. So, and then I got this, which is, um, I talked about in my last haul video that I had gotten some things from the um, brand flower and when I was there um, they didn't really have a whole lot available and so when um, I went back to Walmart don't use your teeth to open stuff I know mom um, but I can't figure out how to get this open okay that was a really frustrating package to open there was no perforation no nothing no way to get that open I actually ended up um, going to get some scissors so very frustrating package to open but what I was saying is that on my last haul video I talked about how I had seen this brand flower which was Drew Barrymore's um, brand of makeup and I had never seen it before and so I decided to get some products but there weren't a ton um, available at my Walmart. It looks like that they were restocking. So I actually went back to Walmart and I got this Shine On lip gloss. They had um, these when I was there last time, but they didn't really have any colors that I specifically wanted to try. This one is called Irish I Could Fly, like Iris, like the flower. And it just kind of has your standard applicator. But nice, bright, shiny it doesn't really have it has a um, kind of a fruity smell to it sometimes with lip glosses I don't like the smell to them. like I won't buy a lot of covergirl products because I just don't like the smell so I picked that up and then I also picked this up which is um, lip balm Let's see what does it say lip service lip butter lip butter so I'm not really sure what a lip butter is I've never had a lip butter but this is in the color Wispy Wisteria. And it's in this little sort of flower looking package here. Let's see if I can get it open. So, oh, I guess I had it upside down. The pink goes on top. And then got this nice, really bright 
pink there. So it doesn't look nearly as bright um, in the swatch as it does in the tube. But I'm going to be doing a full video just on the flower products, letting you know what I thought about them. Um, I also got some blush and some eyeshadow and some primer and things like that. So look for that flower video. So that is all the stuff that I got in my latest haul and stuff that my son's picked out for me. So I'm really excited to try all of these different products. Um, if you've tried the flower products, I would love to hear what you thought about them um, or um, you know which products that you liked and which products that you didn't or if you know a little bit about the brand because again, I haven't heard really anything about them. So leave me a comment below if you've tried the Drew Barrymore flower stuff before and look for that review that's coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye.